What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 24 of my Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we finally defeated Olivia, the second kahuna of Akala Island, and apparently now we are being tasked with going across this bridge, heading to the Hano Grand Hotel, or the Hano Grand Resort, I should say, which apparently isn't that far away, and uh, meeting up with the mysterious Aether Foundation. So let's just go there right the hell now, I suppose. Oh wow, this is a fancy-ass place. So you've come at last. Ah, oh, forgive me, but I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise! Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokémon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokémon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? A bit aggressive. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! Oh? Even Kahuna and Olivia has come to see you off? As Kahuna, I look, of, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've gotten any, I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right, I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yup, it's goodbye, Akala, uh, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. Pretty long-winded way to say, let's get on the boat. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether, Foundi or Aether of Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Daniel? Really? No, I can count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. I'm sure this will not be weird at all. Ooh, boy. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. What is going on in there? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was some, like, weird fusion chamber or some shit. Like they were gonna make some pseudo wheel young goose hybrid. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. I'm sure that won't come into play at all. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you! What is the meaning of, this, of that form of address? I have a title for a reason! How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, then take them to meet the President as well. Phew! 
Welcome to Aether Paradise, Daniel and Hal. My name is Wiki. Alola. Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? That's actually a very good question. One of our employees told me about meeting you on Akala Island. And of course, I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, Mr. Uh, young Mr. Hal. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Shall we zip right up there? Yes, we shall. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Aw, so cute. Daniel? You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then? How'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Cause someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. Dude, this Pokemon are like level 15, I think you got it in, uh, in the bag. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers like, are like parents to their Pokemon. Daniel, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? Sure. Whoa, okay. Now this is more of what I expected. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow! We keep Pokemon here that have been targeted by Team Skull, and we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Go for it. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls around along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. That's morbid. Yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure, uh, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna remember you said that, Hal. But why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here at the conservation area now. Alright, let's have a look around. Whoop. Hello? President Lusamine? Hello? Where is this woman? Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's a kind of like a time machine, isn't it? Sure. I can't go that way yet. Where is the president of the Aether Foundation? Oh, here we go. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. You must be Daniel and Hal. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether, uh, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokémon. But there are also those unfortunate people who aren't Pokémon, for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokémon and shower them with love. Even Pokémon from distant worlds, far away from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. 
Wow, Miss Lusamine, I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? No, she doesn't look it. Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style's a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. L like, what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. Or, trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Oh, boy. What is going on here? That tremor. Did something happen on the lower floors? I forget about the lower floor. Something's happening here right now. What in the world? Oh, hey. It's that Ultra Beast that looks like Lily for some reason. Did you come from another world? Miss Lusamine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Ooh, boy. That hole, that Pokemon, what in the world are they? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, we're just jumping right into it. Okay, sure. Triple question mark appeared. Wait a minute, it gets a freaking stat boost? Defense throws sharply. Okay, sure, why not? I obviously I can't catch this thing because uh, they have the jamming signal here. I was like, can we listen to this freaking battle theme for a second? Alright, here we go. Using Psy Wave, that's not great. Oh, a little over half, got that crit. Yeah, obviously, why, why did he even go into my bag? I already said I can't use Pokeballs in here. Venoshock! Uh, oh fuck, there goes Wanchi Tong. Wait, what the fuck? Beast Boost? Oh, gets a special defense buff now? What the fuck? This is not great. Okay, Giovanni, you'll be immune to Psy Wave, and hopefully you won't die from one Venoshock because you're not poisoned. I need to revive Wanchi Tong, though. I'm assuming we'll get some form of experience from this. So I would like... ...to have Wanchi Tong alive. Okay, let's go for the fake out. Oh, wait. Crap! I forgot Medicine counts as a turn. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I'm a big dummy. Come on, flinch. Oh, it fled, okay. Because it just runs after getting down to a certain health percentage. Well. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lusamine, did you say something? That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see it happen. I will save it, and I will love it! Thank you both. Thank you so much! You were a bit too hype about that. A little speech, Lusamine. 
Wick, these two are still in, middle, in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Uh, oh, at once, ma'am. I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I'll have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. I wonder what the typing on that thing is. Seriously. Never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. We gotta tell Professor Burnett about this next time we see her. I don't know if what, if what happens should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad I get, I get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some all saw us for how. Yeah, 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 Mom saw this. Ooh, we got the TM for Psychic, okay. I am all about this. Give me that Psychic TM. I hope you both have a wondrous, have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. We will, thanks, Miss Wick. She's nice. Now here we are on the way to Ula Ula Island. The Ultra Wormhole is real and the Ultra Beasts are real too. The world's just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. I bet we will. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. Yeah, you go ahead and eat those. No, I'm good. I, I got snacks in the bag. Got me a can of Silf Cola. Hashtag spawn. Hashtag add. But for now, I'm just gonna drink some water. Oh, wow, I'm really liking the aesthetic of this island so far. From just that one shot. Oh, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. You know what this reminds me of? Like, the middle ring of Ba Sing Se. It has a lot of that similar kind of architecture and, uh, and the kind of style. Land Ahoy! Alright, terra firma underfoot again! Ula Ula Island of uh, is like another totally different place than Melee Melee or Akala, huh? Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I've got an idea, Daniel. Let's have a battle. Sure. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both of our teams are in fighting form first. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Man, I did kind of need to get healed after that whole Ultra Beast thing. Alright, let's stop out Hal again before we end this off. Oh, is uh, freaking Pikachu's evolving into a Raichu? This could be an issue. It's a Lolan Raichu, which means it's electric and psychic. Great. No, that that's that's just wonderful. Oh, you know that actually is pretty good because now Astonish should be super effective. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, crap! It did more than half, and my special defense drops. That's not great. Oh, my Astonish was a crit too. Okay, I need. To bring in Giovanni, because Giovanni will be completely immune to the psychic bullshit, and hopefully we can get a fake out off and do some more damage. Yup, get predicted, Hal. Bop. Now we should be able to finish you off with a swift, hopefully. A quick attack, that's fun. I did next to nothing. 
Is that bold nature coming into play? Goodbye, Raichu! Oh, almost a level up for Giovanni. He knows Rion again. Unfortunately, I need to heal one Chiton before I actually do anything with it. Now, I know it's nighttime, but I'm wondering how much Synthesis would actually heal me right now. Let's see. Right now, a lot. Okay, we did just about half. I'm gonna resist that bubble beam, of course. It's gonna do next to nothing. Get you with that razor leaf. A little over half. Good, good, good. I like it, I like it. That bubble beam is not gonna do a lot. Oh, that, that was a crit, too. Are right, you know what? Catch these leaves. Get the fuck out of my face. Goodbye. Oh, almost a level up for Wanchi Tong. Azula grows to level 29, though. Wants to learn Toxic. Okay. I am all about that. You know what? Let's get rid of Flame Charge. Because I don't need a physical move on that special attacker, if I'm honest. And plus, if I ever teach a Battle Shock, that'd be good. Because that'll double up the damage. Ooh, Flareon. Alright, let's get Wanchi Tong out of there. Um, you know what? We haven't seen uh, Route 1 Burn in action for a bit. I mean, it did just evolve. It got Beak Blast, so why not? Why not? I mean, the secondary effect of Beak Blast will really affect Flareon because it can't be burned. Because it's a fire type, but you know what? Let's see if we can pull this off. Get that Beak Blast charged up. Come on, don't flinch, Root 1 Bird. Ha! Bam! Oh, almost. I don't even need to use, uh, freaking Beak Blast again. I can just pluck you to death. Try that, don't flinch. Yep. Get out of my face. Beautiful. And Wachi Tong grows to level 31. Excellent. Giovanni grows to level 29. E Honda grows to level 30. It's a level up party. Wants to learn smelling salts. I don't remember what that does. 70 base power. It's normal type, though. Um, right. It heals the paralysis, but it doubles the base power when they're paralyzed. Uh, give up on learning that move. Save it, stab. Not worth it. Wow, that battle really took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Yeah, that's kind of the idea, Hal. You made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. This means a whole new island Pokedex. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Daniel. Zzz. All right. We're going to uncover the next set of Pokemon in the next episode of Pokemon Sun. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll join me in the next one. Leave a comment leave, uh, leave a comment answering the comment question of the day. I'll figure it out in post. Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more in the future. But until then, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you later. Super Nerd Daniel, out. Just as soon as I save. There we go.